John Blackstone joins us now from uh, Burns, Oregon. John, it seems like the two sides are in somewhat of a holding pattern. What are they waiting for? Is there something that law enforcement is waiting to see or members of the militia are waiting to see? Uh, members of the militia put out a statement yesterday where they made demands to have uh, the case of the Hammond family uh, re-looked at and they sort of set a deadline of five days. They said, we, we want an answer on this in five days. Uh, that may be what they're waiting for. They're sort of setting up camp down here in the buildings at the, at the refuge. Law enforcement, I think, is, is taking a very careful approach to this. Back in the 90s, there were a couple of these uh, standoffs with armed militia groups that ended very badly. And uh, that was because there was, there was an aggressive attempt to stop them early on, or at least to seal the, the um, occupiers in. So I think in this case, law enforcement is kind of taking hands up. Let's find out what's happening. There's no hostages taking. Nothing is being destroyed. The, the uh, occupiers say they're not looking for a fight. They'll only fight if, if they're attacked. So I think everybody's kind of sitting back and taking some time and perhaps trying to resolve this in, in a peaceful fashion, not the way this ended some years ago. John, you mentioned some of those standoffs from the 90s. I was there at the Montana Freeman standoff in 1996. Such a different scene there. As we watched in your piece, they're inviting you in to show you around. That certainly didn't happen in Montana. Tell us a little bit about the Wildlife Refuge, what you saw, and why is it so important? You know, this Wildlife Refuge was created in at 1908 and it was because so many varieties of birds even back then so many varieties of birds had been wiped out by hunters this was recognized this area in the high desert where there are a couple of big lakes was recognized as an important stop on the pacific flyway a very important area uh, for its breeding grounds and, and resting places for more than 300 varieties of birds uh, so people have been working here maintaining this, trying to expand it, develop it, make it better for wildlife uh, for more than a century now. Those people are very concerned that the occupiers may do damage. When we were down in the compound, however, we found no evidence that any damage had been done. There's a lot of equipment sitting around still. Uh, the bunkhouse is being used by the occupiers. Uh, but so far, everything seems quite peaceful here. All right, John Blackstone Force in Burns, Oregon, thank you.